Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, your host, coming back with a brand new COC episode. So since the update was released 24 hours ago, there have been thousands of different video requests inside of the comment section, but this, my friends, is by far the most popular I have ever seen on YouTube. So it's basically this, thousands of you, and I mean thousands of you, have been asking me, Tony, can you please take an all witch army, an all max witch army, an all skeleton spell army, and see what they can do against one of those brand new defenses, the Bomb Tower. So basically what you guys are asking, can you please take a thousand skeletons with knives and put them up against one little kamikaze warrior sitting on top of a tower and he's got loads of bombs? Yes, my friends, I can. We are about to get ourselves into some live action and trust me when I say this is some of the most insane gameplay you are ever going to see in COC. So stay tuned. So one quick announcement before we do get into the episode, before we actually see what Larry sitting on top of the bomb tower is going to do to his little brothers with knives. I have one quick announcement, guys. We are about to pass 800,000 subscribers on the channel. And just to show some love, guys, if you've made it this far into the episode, can you please do me a favor and smash a like down below on this video? Let's see if we can get 25,000 likes to show some love for 800k subs. Do not forget also, we are doing a $1,000 giveaway to all of my subscribers. Now, you do need to be subscribed to have the chance to win $1,000, guys. Basically, on the last day of this month, October 2016, if we have 850,000 subs by the last day of this month, I will give away $1,000 live on cameras to every single person who has subbed to the channel. So if you want the chance to win, all you need to do, drop a sub to the channel, and of course, drop a like to show some support. So all that being said, let's not talk anymore. This is what you've come to this video for. You want to see 1,000 Larrys take on one King Larry. Well, let me show you what happens. So check this out. Now, I'm not lying to you. It honestly took me half an hour to find a Town Hall 11 base inside of the Champions League with not one, but two of those brand new bomb towers sitting inside of it. Now, obviously, we are using 20 max level 3 witches. We are using 11 skeleton spells. And let me just break it down for you and tell you how it works. So the skeleton spells are going to produce 286 Larrys. Each one produces 26. 26 times 11 equals 286. The witches maxed out level 3 witches. In total, all 20 of them are going to produce just over 8 hundred skeletons so in total there are going to be a thousand plus skeletons on this map so let me just show you what they do when they come into contact with a bomb tower basically their brother but he's just a crazy loony so obviously we don't have any wall breakers guys the barbarian king is going to be our wall breaker there go the 11 skeleton spells producing those larrys very very slowly there go the rest of the witches the barbarian king has just broken through the wall and there goes the grand warden's ability making sure that the larrys are going to make their way straight through into the base they were about to take out the bomb tower guys and boom larrys are fading away so there goes the first bomb tower can the witches make it round to the left hand side where the second level one bomb tower is sitting? I'm not going to lie, this wizard tower is absolutely frying these larrys on a mixed level basis. Check it out, wizard tower doing insane damage. But of course these witches have been buffed and a big bomb no longer kills the witches. For those of you that are interested, the witches were actually buffed to three times the hit points. That's pretty damn awesome. And also, the skeleton spells produce twice as many skeletons. So that's why I'm saying, guys, that's why you all wanted to see this. Check out that big bomb. Big bomb goes off, doesn't even kill the witches, takes them very low in hit points, though. Very, very low indeed. But the rest of the army seems to just be fading. And it looks like it's game over, guys. Farewell, my little precious witches. But of course, this is not the end of the episode. We are only getting started. We are about to get ourselves into a live attack to see what these witches and these skeleton spells can do once I've maxed out the skeleton spell. So if you've made it this far into the episode, I want you to tell me down below in that comment section, what is your favorite feature? Is it the bomb tower? Comment hashtag bomb tower. Or is it that brand new buffed witch? Comment hashtag witch. Let me know down below. So making our way back home, and of course, I am actually upgrading the skeleton spell from level 3 to level 4. So it is currently going to max level, but this is YouTube. We don't wait around. All we need to do is click a couple of buttons, and we got ourselves a level 4 skeleton spell. So if we go into our army overview, you can see this time we have switched it up. We've dropped out a witch, brought ourselves 6 wall breakers, 11 maxed for the first time ever, maxed out skeleton spells. This is going to be nothing short of interesting. Stay tuned, guys. We're about to get ourselves into a live attack. So this time, we're not necessarily looking for bomb towers. We are only looking for a Town Hall 11 base, which hopefully 
actually has single target Inferno Towers, and then I'm hoping there's going to be at least one Bomb Tower inside of there as well. Once again, there is going to be close to, or maybe just over, a thousand Skeletons produced, a thousand Larrys on one single Town Hall 11 attack. This is nothing short of insane, guys. This is honestly some of the most insane gameplay you have ever been able to see inside of this game. I just can't wait, so we'll be back in a second once we find a base with single target Inferno Towers. Check this out, we have just landed on this Town Hall 11 base, there are single target Inferno Towers and moreover, they are actually uh, pretty, pretty high up there and I'm sure we can do some real damage to this base. Now the only problem is, we only have 6 wall breakers, so we're going to start off by dropping 2 wall breakers down straight away. Now usually... I would actually drop in the uh, the King, the Queen, the Grand Warden first, but this time we're going to switch it up, guys. We're going to go in with the Skeleton Spells. So with the Skeleton Spells, you can just, you know, go ahead and drop them like that. There go the 11 Skeleton Spells, King, Queen, Grand Warden, and then, of course, we're going to drop in the 19 Witches. So we're going to drop down two more Wall Breakers just there, see if we can get into the, uh, the next layer of the base. Wow, it's lagging! I'm not sure if it's lagging because there are so many wall breakers on the map. Sorry, so many skeletons on the map, but it is really lagging right now. So there goes the Grand Warden's ability, making sure that the little Larrys are actually staying alive. And here we go, guys. Here we go. We've made it through the first, the second, and the third layer. We've made it into the center of the base. There, the Barbarian King ticking off loads of those bombs. Now, it looks like we are already down so many skeletons. But you know what? This is absolutely awesome to see. That is the first time I've ever seen the gameplay lag from the amount of troops on the map. I would love to know exactly how many Larrys are on the map at once. I'm guessing at one time we had maybe 500 there, which is pretty damn dope. So the Queen may actually be able to make it onto the Town Hall here, guys. We are possibly gonna get a two star inside of this base. If not, we should be getting a one star. There are so many witches which have made it onto the Town Hall, but of course they do such a small amount of damage. But check it out. Here comes some defending Larrys. Gonna get torn apart pretty damn instantly. Loads of witches. Doing damage to the Town Hall, the, uh, the Grand Warden behind them being a little bit cheeky, but it's looking good. There we go, the Town Hall has just gone down, guys, and now the Witches and the Skeletons are making their way in towards the, uh, the center of the base where those single target Inferno Towers sit. We're going to allow this attack to just play out because I don't really know how far these Witches are going to go. There goes another Wizard Tower on the right-hand side. I mean, this is looking like we could three-star a Town Hall 11 base. Using max witches, max skeleton spells. Could we do it, guys? Could we honestly three-star? I haven't seen a three-star with witches in over a year or close to a year. No one is able to do it anymore because they just don't have what it takes. But my, oh my, we have come mighty close here. There is only one section left full of defenses. The rest of the base has been ridiculed of defenses, guys. It really is looking pretty damn awesome. But of course, I must stress there were no bomb towers inside of this base. So this is only... The, uh, the older defenses, no bomb towers inside of here. I'm guessing bomb towers would do a hell of a lot of damage to these mass witches. But you know what, guys? We almost secured a 70% overall damage, meaning we're going to walk away just 24 seconds remaining with a 100% loot bonus against the Town Hall 11 base. I am over the moon with that. And I must say, these new witches and these new skeleton spells, although they aren't the greatest, they have definitely had a massive improvement. So the Grand Warden actually turning out to be the last man standing. There he goes, guys. Let's check out the loot. Look at that. Not great loot, but we did get a great loot bonus. And, of course, picked ourselves up another 15 trophies. So there it is, guys. That is going to be the end of the video. Don't forget to let me know in that comment section. Is the Bomb Tower your favorite or is the Witch your favorite? Which one would you prefer to have to max level? Let me know down below in that comment section. Do not forget to drop a like on this video to show some love for 800,000 subs. And of course, make sure you drop a sub to the channel if you want the chance to win $1,000 in prizes on the last day of October this month. Stay tuned, there will be many more episodes coming out in a couple of hours' time. We're going to test more of these new features that came inside of the update. So I will see you shortly, guys. Have a great day. Love you all so, so much. Peace out.